Hey guys, what's up? Otaku Mike here, doing another discussional video for you today. And today, we are talking about being an otaku and a parent, basically. There aren't many parent otakus in well, that I know of. I only know of a couple. I know Jen Graves, Mama Loves Manga, Alley Cat GTZ, and um, Kawaii Kawaii the Anime Girl. Did I say Jen Graves? Well, those are the people that I know. Um, if you know any more, let me know. Connect them with me, because, you know, we have a lot in common. <laughs> just saying. We're collectors and we have kids, you know? And I just wanted to talk about, you know, what it's like to be an otaku or a collector of all this fine stuff right here. You know, and how do you, um... Go about doing it. How do you go about like spending your time with the things that you love as well as the people that you love? So, my daughter is just turned six last year, at the end of last year, and my stepson is nine. We have a blended we have a blended family, so it's really interesting the whole dynamic and whatnot. Um, uh, my hold on. I guess I should start with a story, like, um, so, when I was younger, probably in my 20s, um, I didn't want kids. I was like, no, that's not for me. Then fate has it, I had a child. Um, you know, I was like, oh, you know, children are just gonna ruin my collecting and whatnot, you know, I would collect and whatnot, and, you know, come home from work, you know, go to the used bookstore or the used DVD store and just collect anime and manga and whatnot, and mostly anime at the time, you know, collecting comic books and whatnot, you know, I would just come home to this, this, this stuff, you know, and, um, I honestly felt a little empty inside, I felt very aimless, like, you know, I, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life at the time, um, and um, when you have a child and you're a collector, but I mean, as if you have a child in general, you know, it changes your life. Um, it changes how you think, how you, you know, you, you work out problems like uh, that you might have within your life. You know, you, you, you try to think about, hey, do I, do I really need... Do I really need this DVD right now, or manga, or do I need to put food on the table and, you know, or buy something when my child needs something or when they want to do some kind of school activity, you know? It's a real balancing act, um, to say the least. You know, it gets hard occasionally because there's times where, you know, I have to put my collecting on hold. I can't buy as much stuff as I would love to buy or buy like a new video game or whatnot, you know. I remember specifically when my daughter was born, I was sitting in the waiting room and I was told, um, your freedom is gone, you know, you are no longer going to be able to collect or buy things, um, you know, when you want. Um, you know, that was very, that was very saddening to me to think like that, you know, like, what, like, why is something I love doing and collecting being taken away from me? So I was a little resentful at that time because I was like, a piece of me is being taken away. But there's this thing that, you know, a lot of people say, and I 100% agree with it, um... Your child changes you for the better, usually. Um, for me, for that case, it was, you know. I felt like I had a purpose, you know. Um, you know, I had something that I had to, or someone I had to look after and take care of, and, you know, and put their needs before my own, because that's what being a parent is, you know. I still collect things, just not to the amount that I used to collect. You know, I've scaled back my collecting quite a bit, you know. 
when I went, you know, usually I map out what I want to get for a month, usually the month prior, and you know, I save up money, you know, if I can't get a volume of something, it gets put on the back burner, you know, um, when I want to just sit down and read, I can't always just sit down and read, you know, most of my reading is usually on my lunch break at work or uh, after dinner um, when my my kids are getting ready to go to bed and whatnot um, so that's or if I want to you know play a video game or watch a movie you know that's not appropriate for them usually uh, or you know read a comic book or you know watch some anime you know or even get on the Otaku Dad cast and the SOB podcast, you know? Um, you know, Usually all that stuff is done when my kids are asleep or they're doing something, like, on the weekends, you know? Like, they're just hanging out in the rooms, doing something, you know? If we don't have any plans, you know? It's, we kind of have, um, like, us weekends sometimes where we um, just do our own things occasionally when we don't have family, when we don't have family time, you know, uh, and whatnot. So, you know, it, it changes as your children get older. And, um, you know, that that's cool, you know, because I was un, un, under, the, under the mindset when I first became a father that, you know, I couldn't do these things. You know, it was implanted into my head that I, I had to look after my child all the time and you know when they're young you kind of have to just saying but um you know you have to find time for yourself and if you don't find time for yourself you know you just need to make time for yourself you know i will come in my room and you know shut the door you know and just take a minute to myself you know like breathe in and stuff and then you know maybe get on Twitter you like look at the new news or the announcements that are coming out or maybe talk to some friends maybe make a video you know cuz my kids don't really care about my collecting and whatnot you know my daughter I drag my daughter all around you know sometimes when we have our weekends together because there's usually a weekend where it's just me and her you know, my wife has to work my stepson goes and sees his dad and whatnot, so it's usually me and her, and we usually find something to do, or we just hang out at the house, you know? We have bonding time and, you know, fun time together, or we just chill. We just chill, and I read some manga, and she goes off and watches a movie or plays in her room and whatnot, and, you know, if you haven't seen it, um, she has taken over a few of my... Gundam building streams, you know, kind of hijacked them and whatnot. And, um, you know, it's all about balancing. You know, kids aren't the end all be all when it comes to uh, having a collection. You know, it's all about that nice balance. Um, you know, just because you have a child doesn't mean you can't still enjoy the things that you love. It's, it's, it's honest, you know. But, you know, your children. Do come first and um, you know I've tried you know a lot of the stuff I have isn't age appropriate um, you know I've tried to get them into things that I like um, like uh, I gave this I gave gone to my daughter and she she really enjoyed it she was a little confused why she had to read backwards she was like daddy why do I have to read backwards you know it's weird whatnot and um uh you know my stepson he really doesn't want anything to do with it he's like no i don't want i don't like that you know and and that's one thing you know people are like oh i'm gonna have a, have a child and i'm gonna like force all my stuff on them and they're gonna be like a miniature me no i'm not like that you know uh i if my kids want to be interested in the hobbies that i have you know that's cool but you know i want them to be able be interested in my hobbies, not I force my hobbies onto them, because everything I have, most some stuff I have isn't child appropriate, and they're not of the age, you know, we have watched Pokemon together, and stuff like that, you know, they do like Pokemon, and whatnot, but you know, you can't create a mini you all the time, <laughs> you know, but yeah, 
Um, that's kind of my thoughts on being a parent and being an otaku. I hope I was a little coherent or, you know, you understood what I was saying. You know, being a parent is hard. There's no right or wrong way to, I mean, there. I guess there is a wrong way to be a parent if you neglect, if you neglect your child. That's a wrong way. Just saying. Um, but, um, you know, there's no roadmap or you know, instruction manual to really be a parent, you know, I failed a lot, you know, um, I'm surprised, you know, they still think, you know, my daughter still thinks of me as like, like the coolest guy ever, you know, my daughter thinks it's cool that I do YouTube, you know, and whatnot, she's like, oh, that's cool, you gonna build another model, daddy, like, yeah, I'm gonna build another model, she's like, oh, can I see, you know, stuff like that, you know, she's sort of interested in what I do, but, you know, I, I let her do her own thing and whatnot. So, yeah, there it is. <laughs> you want to say hi? No. No. Hey, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, wait. You want to say hi? Just say hi to people. Just say hi. Look. Can you say hi, hi. So what do you think, what do you think of Daddy's collection? Um, awesome. You like my collection? Yeah. Yeah? Um, what, do you want to have a collection like this when you're older? Yeah. You do? What's your favorite thing about Daddy's collection? Look at the camera. What's your favorite thing about Daddy's collection? All of it. All of it? It's all of it? Yeah. So, as we wrap this video, I'm Otaku Mike. This is the little Otaku, or soon to be little Otaku. What are, what are, what are the people at home supposed to do? I don't know. They're supposed to subscribe to my videos. They're supposed to subscribe to <laughs> videos. Say, say subscribe. Subscribe to my daddy. Subscribe to my daddy. Or, yeah, subscribe. Is that it? Yeah. You want to say bye? Bye. And subscribe. And subscribe. No, you got to look at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> look at the camera. Say, say goodbye. Goodbye. And subscribe. And subscribe down below. See, there you go.